Hey guys, this is Sports with John. The Los Angeles Chargers have found a new head coach, and that would be Jim Harbaugh. For those of you currently sitting here going, who the heck is Jim Harbaugh? I will explain it to you. Jim Harbaugh was the head coach of Stanford for their football team for a while until he got hired by the San Francisco 49ers. He ended up bringing the San Francisco 49ers to a Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick, where ironically, he played the team coached by his brother, John Harbaugh, the Baltimore Ravens, where they end up losing that Super Bowl. And from there, the 49ers were good for a couple of years, but slowly just unraveled. And eventually, it cost Jim Harbaugh's job. So then he went back down to the college levels, where he joined to be the head coach of the University of Michigan. Michigan is always a competitive school, and especially in the past couple of years, they got a heck of a lot more competitive. In fact, they were getting close, but they never quite made it to the national championship because Georgia was just always on top of them. But that changed this year when Jim Harbaugh with starting quarterback J.J. McCarthy led Michigan to a national championship win over Washington as the number one ranked team in the nation, going completely undefeated all season and obviously the postseason. So Jim Harbaugh is clearly a very successful head coach, which means that I love this hire. How can you not? He's the polar opposite of Brandon Stanley. Brandon Staley is an outright idiot that has no idea what he's doing. I would be a better head coach in the NFL than Brandon Staley. And that is obviously saying something. But Jim Harbaugh knows what he's doing. He's obviously been in the NFL before and he had plenty of success in the NFL. It's not like plenty of college coaches such as Cliff Kingsbury, Matt Rule, a couple other guys we've seen in the past couple of years where they were successful in college, they joined the NFL and they proceed to absolutely suck. And also, Michigan was truly successful in college. The other two coaches I named, Cliff Kingsbury and Matt Rule, were the head coaches of Texas Tech and Baylor, respectively. And neither struck me as great colleges. Like, neither won a national championship under them, neither made the playoffs under them. So sure, they were fine. They weren't bad. They were better than expected. They're still two pretty good college coaches, but they were never great. Well, Michigan has been great. So, Jim Harbaugh definitely deserved another chance in the NFL, which he has been given by the Chargers. And honestly, for a head coach, there's not much of a better situation you could be in, especially with a team that finished with an underwhelming record like this this year, but they have so much potential. First of all, you don't even need to pick out the starting quarterback of the team because he got a superstar starting quarterback with Justin Herbert. You're not sitting here going, okay, what do we do to find our guy? And do we try and draft him? Do we try and trade for someone? No, you've got a starting quarterback. A star one, in fact. You've got a great running back, although he is going into free agency. But running backs are expendable. He, you can either re-sign him, find a new running back. Doesn't really matter. You've got an amazing receiving core with Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, as well as the fact that Quinton Johnston was drafted in the first round of last year's draft. And while he hasn't looked great so far, he still has plenty of potential. You have a solid offensive line protecting Justin Herbert. You have a great defense led by Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. And the secondary is also full of stars, namely Derwin James, of course. But you've also got Asante Samuel Jr. back there as well. This all-around is a great team. There's a reason I predicted them to go to the Super Bowl this season. What I forgot about was Brandon Staley, who is an absolute idiot that has no idea what he's doing. I've already been through this before, and I'm happy to repeat it. Brandon Staley is an idiot. He showed it to me in his first season as a head coach, but they kept holding on to him for way too long, and he kept continuing to blow the Chargers' chances. So, but 
Anyways, this Chargers roster is still very talented, so I am sure Jim Harbaugh can make the most of it. And I think they have a great shot at the playoffs, despite the fact that, yes, the AFC is very competitive right now, assuming we don't get all the starting quarterbacks injured like we did this past year. But I still think the Chargers should easily make the playoffs, and honestly, I think they could make a good push in it. Will this come back to bite me? It could very well. We will just have to find out. But what I know is Jim Harbaugh is definitely a good coach and he's definitely deserving of a head coaching job in the NFL. So I'm excited to see for all parties where this ends up going. The one unusual thing about all of this is that the Chargers have yet to hire a GM. So that could sometimes cause a bit of controversy between the coach and GM when the GM didn't actually pick out the coach. The coach was picked out before the GM. But I'm sure we'll be fine. It'll be interesting to see what their new GM does with this roster as well. We'll have to find out. But for now, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys again soon.